Well, this is how it starts. This is the day I leave for my hunt. And as you can see, it's quite a mess around here. All the boxes getting ready for this hunt. Backpacks, duffel bags, clothes, and it's an hour before I leave and I can't find my hunting knife. Spent two hours sharpening it three days ago and now I can't find it. So, we'll see what I can come up with after a while. Okay, getting closer. Found my knife. It was in the backpack, of course it was. All right, so I'm headed out in about three hours to Kodiak Island on a grizzly bear hunt for about 12 days. So I've got everything, I think, laid out. And probably a little bit more than I need, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So that's it for now. Here at the Memphis Airport, getting ready for our trip. Should be about 15 hours before we reach Kodiak. So stay tuned. Okay, we have made it to Kodiak finally. Two days later, here we are. It's a beautiful day. There from what your plane. From what I understand, yeah, that's, there goes the plane. That's the plane you came in on. Okay. From what I understand, this is a very, this is a 10 out of a 10 day. Yeah. You just don't have these kind of days on Kodiak. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Mountains. Oh, this is Sue. Say hi, Sue. Hello. I'm taking good care of him. <laughs> So anyway, we're just getting ready to get started, so I want to show everybody what, what it looked like here. Okay, here we go, getting ready for trip. <laughs> getting ready to get on the plane, go across the other side of the island. Beautiful day. Going down to the plane. We're going to that one? You're going to that one, yep. Okay, thank you. And you're coming right here with Jerry. Okay. Uh, we'll board on Sweet. the other side. Okay. Okay, we're on one side of the island, we're flying just directly west to the other side, that's what we're doing? Mm -hmm. Okay. It'll probably be just about 20, uh, 30 to 35 minute flight. Okay, all right, cool. Morning. Morning. How are you? Good. Oh, you had the gun case. I did. Okay. Just, right. just double checking, I didn't see you with the rifle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't want to forget that. First, and then we'll put two in the center last. Okay. So. Okay, so draw straws. You pick it. It doesn't matter to me. I'll go. Why do you guys take some time, man? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go straw front, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. Go ahead. You gotta probably have. It's a spin, right? <laughs>
Okay, we're here at Bear Camp, so I'll give a little tour of what we got going on. Home away from home for tonight, and then we we go out on the backpack hunt, set up camp. Bay. Sharpening up the knives. All right, yeah, give me a demonstration what you got going on there. <laughs> We're just putting an edge on our <laughs> fleshing knives, so pretty much just getting them sharp for all the bears. All right. How many bears are you guys planning to skin up there? Just one. <laughs> Sow and both cubs. <laughs> Okay, just woke up from day two in the cabin. It's a heater. And it's supposed to be pretty and sunny today for the next two days, and this is what I come out to. About four inches of snow. <clears throat> so, looks like we'll be hunting in snow. We're headed out in the boat. Our faithful captain. Where are we going, Aaron? Going up the Agantic River, the, our, my favorite hunting spot, Dead Bear. But we'll get a big Kodiak ground bear. They'll see otters. Pretty cool.
Okay, we're on, we're getting closer to where we're gonna camp in. How close are we? <clears throat> we're, we're definitely right at two thirds of the way there. So we've got one and a third of the way to go. So we I would say about another hour, hour and a half of hiking. We'll be there for sure. So we've been hiking about three hours, roughly that. Probably we've done pretty good. Made a pretty good time to get to our spot right here. Doing our rock little stop in glass and rock little stop. So, actually, what he's saying is, give me time to rest. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest about it. <laughs> but you gotta remember, he's half my age. He's 25. I'm 50. So, give me a break. This is pretty cool. Man, pretty cool. Look, 25. Man, that makes me feel. Good. <laughs> makes me feel better than my 28. Oh, you're 28. 28. Well, close Only enough. three years off. That's close, not bad. Close <laughs> enough. Close enough. <laughs> So the sun comes out and then it goes away and it starts snowing. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. I know. But we are right in the middle of bear country. We've seen all kinds of sign where they've been up up in the side of the rocks where they've been bedding down. So we're probably how how close are we to camp? Uh, actual bear camp or actual What's the closest oh. civilization? Well, close civilization that would be village islands and that would be about 15 17 miles on the map okay from here all right so that's that's as close as we got civilization so we seen some deer a while ago and they don't even they're not even scared of us they, they, they just don't see humans do they nope. so anyway not these ones up here anyway they're probably the first humans that, that they've ever seen Okay, we're setting up tent, camp. We've hiked in about five miles and I am pooped. I mean, my legs are like spaghetti. <laughs> and he, then he told me there was a 60 year old man that run up this about a month ago. So I don't know whether to believe him or not. But anyway, so here's, here's our spot. Not bad of you. And then up there behind me is where we're gonna be. Um, lasting for the next eight or ten days whatever how long it takes but the mountain behind me there it's pretty awesome so okay here I see it in my new home wondering what the hell I had <laughs> what the hell I was thinking <laughs> this is it there's my pillow sleeping bag and there's there's where he's gonna be sleeping it's lucky if it's the size of a double bed. But it is a pretty killer view, I have to admit. And somewhere out there, hopefully there's a bear with my name on it. Because I don't believe I'll be doing this again. He said that I'm one of the oldest ones that's come up here for a spike camp. Most of my guys my age are staying in the cabin and hunting from a boat. So, this may be the one and only time. Colton and Clayton, you can have this. But it is pretty cool. Right up there is where we'll be sitting most of the time, spotting, looking over to the mountains, trying to see, find a bear to go after. It's about 9 o'clock Sunday night. Mm. 
Now I know how what I know how the people feels on naked and afraid, because this is just about what they're doing. Only at least I do have clothes on. Okay, I'll do the same. Day two, stuck in the tent. As you can hear, we are getting pounded by sleet. So Aaron said that it hadn't had a spring like this since what, about 2000? Yeah, early 2000s. It's about the earliest one I can think of having a snowstorm like this. So of course, with my weather luck, as everybody knows, I'm gonna, that's, the, that's the year I'm gonna come. So hopefully though, it could be really good after this is all through, as long as it yeah. don't last 10 days. We're hoping for that. Yeah, so, anyway. Yeah. Lord willing, it won't be like that. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. So, that's it for now. Okay, here we are. Monday at 6 o'clock at night. And we are in the middle of a blizzard. It has done this all day. We have not been able to do anything. I don't know if you can see the snow or not. Can you hear it in the wind? It's howling. top of the mountain here close to try to call out and get a weather report where we'll know what to expect over the next day or two but it's set in and it's about 23 degrees right now and so all we're doing is sitting around and waiting so Perfect timing. Okay. Tuesday morning, I think. Tuesday morning, I think. Finally, decent weather. Not great weather, but good weather. Sun's out, wind's still a little blowing. Other than that, not too bad. A lot better than yesterday. Looks like Aaron's about to make some coffee, I'm guessing. Aaron? Aaron? You making coffee? Okay, we're having coffee on the side of the hill. I am going to tell them myself. While ago, we tracked all the way up here, probably a quarter of a mile, maybe, from camp. Got all the way up here, and guess what I forgot? The one thing that I needed, my binoculars. Now, I knew I brought them. Went through my backpack three times looking for them. Couldn't find them. So I'll go over to my trusty guide and said, take your binoculars and see if you can, I'm gonna try to blame this on him, so I'm gonna try to do. Take your binoculars and see if you can see my binoculars hanging from that tree at camp. Mm -hmm. So guess what he says? Yeah, I think I can see the your neck gator hanging from the tree. 
So I go and track all the way back to camp, and guess what? It wasn't there. So I look up on top of the hill, and he's sitting there dangling them from, from his arm, laughing at me. So then I get another quarter mile back here to camp. So anyway, thought I might as well tell that. It's not as bad as for getting the lunch. <laughs> Okay, this is how fast a storm comes in here on Kodiak. It's crazy. Look up there. The sun is shining in blue sky. And then look behind me what's coming in. It's absolutely, you can't hardly see the mountains over there where the snow's coming through. And then behind me it's black. Snow clouds. It's crazy. see the ocean from up here. It's just a mountain that you can look 360 degrees around you. We'll be setting up the rest of the afternoon. Start even dropping. GoPro for you to go to the very bottom. Okay, this is probably the highest point we'll get while we're here, won't we? Oh, yeah. All right, so this is our lookout spot. This is probably where we come for the next four or five days if we're... If it's a nice guy, yeah. You see the... That's the... Uh, Unless you get too sore and want to spend a day, half a day or something down at camp there. Or you see something right close to camp that we want to be at a lower elevation so we can move faster from the bottom. You think you know me, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> that's the ocean in the background there, right? Pacific Ocean back Now, there. you can't see Russia from here, can you? No. Which direction would Russia be? You're looking the right direction. It's not that far, though, is it? No, it's probably 2,000 miles at most. Yeah. Got 1,000 miles of Aleutian chain, and yeah, about another 1,000 miles of ocean between us and Russia. To be honest, I don't even like standing up here. It makes me... Weak knees just stand. Are we gonna to try to walk out of here in the dark? We're not, are we? No, we'll get we'll get off this hill before dark. Okay. I'm telling you, you get weak at the knees when you look over this. But it is cool, no doubt about it. So it's Tuesday afternoon and we just had a couple of good bear encounters. First one was we seen, we couldn't tell if it was a sow or a boar, but it was chasing, um, they call Sitka deer. They got Sitka deer out here. It was chasing a Sitka deer and its baby um, alongside of a mountain trying to get to it. And the bear was like 50 yards behind them and the deer would run. And it was kind of weird because the deer, the bear was going off scent, not off sight. So the deer was like 50 yards in front of them, 
and cutting up through there and the bear instead of fought, going after them um, by side it was going off smell so anyway I don't know if he ever caught him or not but he was pretty close to him they went over the hill and then uh, Aaron went back while ago to the cabin or not to the cabin but to the our tent to get something and I was sitting there by myself and I had a sow and two cubs come up within about 30 yards of me and I started to grab this camera but I grabbed my gun instead so it's my fault that you don't have pictures of that but I was a little bit nerve-wracking I was sitting there on the side of the hill and I heard them heard something in the brush and I looked and here they come and they was headed right for me so I grabbed the gun and kind of jumped up the hill a little ways and she done the same she took off the other way with the cubs so I don't know what would happen if I'd have grabbed the camera instead probably nothing but anyway so that's my story for now pretty cool view right Okay, here we are Tuesday afternoon, Kodiak Island, sitting on the side of a mountain, glassing. We've seen how many today? We've seen 10 bears so far. All of them's been probably females. Okay, view over there, ocean. See how high we are. Don't want to stump our toes. That's for sure. Been a good day. A lot better than yesterday. Yesterday I spent all day in the tent, or I did. But not today. Beautiful day. Hope we have another one tomorrow. Getting closer. Okay, does this look familiar? <laughs> We're back in the tent again. This is day three, Wednesday. Um, blizzard, that's all I can say. Hit again. Aaron, did you say this was the worst storm you've seen all year? Yep, yeah, worst, worst snowstorm we've had all year. And it just happens to be while I'm here on my bear hunt. It literally, let's see if I can get you a picture of this. It has snowed. It's at least a foot of snow on the ground right now and still coming down. So, we can't get out. I mean, all I've done is... I mean, literally, over the, walk over there and you're going in trees. Let me show you those trees. So, those trees are holding, holding all that snow. So, when you walk out there, in the woods when that wind hits you don't have a foot of snow come down on your back and right now i mean i don't know if you can see that ridge or that mountain over there i mean it literally 200 yards is as far as you can see and now they're calling for we got the weather what they say 30 miles 30 plus mile an hour winds tonight and so they say so it's going to be rough. We're going to be here, looks like, at least that long. I don't know. And then we got to worry about if it thaws out just enough that it ices back over so the sun will hit it. And then it'll be like a thin layer of ice on top. Mm -hmm. That's the worst case scenario. So we're hoping that don't happen. So, But we won't know till it till tomorrow, I guess. So anyway, uh, that's it for now. Okay, Wednesday, about two o'clock, and I want you to see what we have been dealing with for the last uh, 15 hours. It's snowing about a half, probably, I'm gonna say about a half an inch per, about a half, about a half inch, every, about an inch every hour is what we've got. Look at this right here. Now some of that is for me pushing out a little bit but but i mean not much 
I mean, it's, it's literally two foot of snow that we've got. And we are five miles back in here. So the only thing we can do really is just wait it out. We're just gonna stay here and Colton looked up the weather and it's supposed to be like four, high, high 40s in two days from now. So we're hoping at that point, maybe it'll start melting this off, but we, it just won't be impossible to try to get back to to uh, to camp right now, hiking through this for five miles with our backpacks. So we're just gonna stick with it. Um, but it's really pretty if you wanna look at it, I mean, that way. But you can look on the tree limbs, how much, Look at that tree right there, how it's packed up in there. And they're calling for... They say on our so will that cause drifts? It'll... I can't even do that, but it'll blow the snow off the tree limbs. Okay. So we'll have snow hitting the fly of the tent all night. Okay. All right, so let's see what to... Every day I got something new for you. I hope it's better tomorrow. I'm tired of this. Oh, and it's still not done. It's still snowing right now. They're calling for it to snow on them tonight. So I don't know what we're gonna wake up to. Aaron said that this is the worst snow you've seen this year, yep. but probably even further than that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the most we had in one snowfall this winter has been two inches, but this surpassed it by quite a bit. Okay. It's starting to lift a little bit. I can start seeing the mountain up there now. To yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay, till tomorrow. Is this Tuesday or Wednesday? Uh, Wednesday. Okay, it's Wednesday afternoon after the big snow. We had a little bit of sun, so we decided to come up here on the side of this mountain and do some glassing. And guess what? It starts snowing again. So, talked to Colton earlier. He said he thought, looking at the weather, it was going to clear up tomorrow. So we're going to stick it out. Bruce. And I was thinking about going back, but after getting that report, we decided to stick it out. We don't want to go back. So here's what we're looking at this afternoon. Okay, good morning. It is Thursday. It is Thursday, right? Uh, yep. Fourth day of the hunt, and this is not what we was hoping to see this morning. Mm -hmm. So it's about 10:30, and we come up to one of our glassing points, and it started snowing, so we had to make a makeshift line to keep us out of the snow. But more of the same. Uh, we should be able to see half a mile. We're seeing probably about 250 yards. So, but we're hoping that this will clear out of here today and maybe we can start doing better. That's all we can do. So, still four days, we still got six days left, so it's bound to turn around for too long. So. If we got here, we can see the blind, what it looks like. and this is the area we're trying to glass. I don't know if you can see or not, but our tent is right through there, about 200 yards. This looks like a donut or a, a turtle sitting out there. We had to come all the way, and come, we had to go up and then back down to get to this point. So anyway. Be in touch. Kodiak Island, day four. And as you can see, we thought some's gonna come out, but it ain't yet. Huge snowflakes. Wind's blowing probably 15 mile an hour, maybe. Maybe 20. 
this is all we got to do. So hopefully wait it out so we're not doing this five days from now. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday afternoon, right before about eight o'clock at night, and the sun has finally come out, and it feels so good. <laughs> it's been what three days? Mm -hmm. Freezing temperatures. Look at that sun. Mm -hmm. That feels so good. So everything's hopefully will turn around tomorrow. We're thinking that tomorrow may be a nice day. So that's what we're hoping for. But Kodiak Island, 2019. What's today's date? Uh, April the 24th. April the 24th. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Oh, before I forget, we did see one bear this afternoon. Uh, and he was... Would you say about eight foot? Mm -hmm. Eight eight foot. Oh, day's twenty fifth. Eight foot bear, just a little small. Uh, we're hoping to get at least a nine foot. Is what we're looking for. So uh, that's kind of our standards right now. So the bear was a little bit small for it. Okay, here we are, day five. Weather is a hundred percent better than what it's been. It's probably about 15 degrees. We're sitting up on top of this mountain glass. No, this is all the video I ever did. I'm going to have to pay close attention to what I'm doing. You're calling me. You're calling me. You're calling me. Throw a snowball when you can see. How high we are. Here it goes. It's just straight down. Pretty much. But we seen three bear in the last hour go over that mountain right there. So they come over the mountain and then they, I don't know if you can see their tracks or not, uh, but they they slid pretty well on their butts all the way down that mountain past the white into the darker colored timber. Uh, then they bed up and wait for it to get dark before they come in and end it any further. But we've seen three of those in the last hour. So they're coming out of the high grounds, coming down in here and breeding season's getting closer. They're starting to look around. We've got several sows that we've spotted, so we're hoping that the sows will go ahead and bring them in. But anyway, weather is a lot better, like I said. Beautiful up here. So day five on Kodiak Island, and we got five more days to get it done, and we come back so not a given but hopefully we still got time okay said I wouldn't walk around much but I'm gonna walk around just a little bit show you guys what I feel like is my favorite tree that I have found on Kodiak. And I'm not gonna tell you why, but I'm just gonna let you guys to try to figure out for yourself. I think this is called alderberry trees, but look at this tree that I found that I have to visit fairly frequently. Let's see if you can figure out why I like this tree. I won't get any closer to it if you know why. If not, maybe you can let somebody else know. But anyway, I wanted to let you know that what I'd found and let you guess why.
Okay, I thought y'all might want to see what it looks like up here on the very top where we're glassing from. We'll do a 360 panoramic view all the way around. See the gorges down below? Mountain tops too. Let me see, that would be to the south there. And that's one of the bays coming up out of the ocean there. Pretty cool. Alright, good morning everyone. It's uh, Saturday morning and I'm going to try to do a little video going up the hill, going up the mountain. I'm going to call it a mountain. Um, show you how rough this terrain is. So anyway, you can see Aaron's up there and this is just one step of this mountain. It's not the entire thing. This is just one cliff of it. So let me see if I can do this. I don't know what it's going to turn out to be, but anyway. You guys hear somebody breathing hard it's Aaron he just can't hardly handle this high this hack up here yeah yeah I'm drowning out mine so we still you can see what we're having to go up against so this is warning for the boys you better start training now for September because it's gonna be just like this tracking Aaron's just about to leave me actually he has left me so it's been about 15 minutes since I shut the camera off and we've been walking uphill ever since Rest a minute. Can't take that last one just yet, but here's where we're headed to. But the side of that hill is so steep that you make sure you're not tired when you go up it. I got the camera held it's pretty straight to give you an idea of the taper that he, of this I'd say it's at least it's steeper than 45 it's probably I don't know 50 or 60 degrees where did I say that yesterday right over there okay 
So this is where we'll be most of the day. Saturday morning, Kodiak Island. Day 659 at Kodiak Island. That's what it feels like anyway. So I'll show you what I've ate since I got here. So let me see, this is Saturday. Saturday I've been here. Six days. This has been my lunch. Every day. For six days. I'm just about this, this, and that. Six days of it. And it looks like it could be another five days of it. So we have not seen, well, we've seen two or three bear a while ago. That's the first one we've seen all day. Uh, I think one of the guys at camp, there's six of us, one of the guys has killed. And that's been it so far, so I've been kind of slow. But anyway, thought I'd show you what what's on for lunch. Okay, day seven. Kodiak Island 2019. So, yesterday afternoon, well, absolutely miserable, but about 6 o'clock or 7, maybe 8 o'clock, don't we get dark? 7 30. We had, we had a, a, a sow up on the hill that we've been kind of watching, the older sow. With, she had one cub or two? Uh, one. One cub. She'd been here the last couple of days, uh, and all of a sudden Aaron noticed her acting really strange. And she's probably about 800 yards away, and acting really strange, like something was kind of bothering her. And we got her scopes on her, got her binoculars, and he had his uh, spotting scope on her, and a big boar. What Aaron says was that those boars will try to kill the, uh, the cubs. That causes the female to come back in the heat again for breeding purposes. So uh, he chased her around and that cub around as far as we could see, and they went off the back side of the mountain. So we're back up here this morning. He's a good one, too. He's, Aaron said he's right at nine foot, and that's what we're looking for. So, really pretty hair on it and everything. But anyway, so hopefully we can get on this one. So. Right there's the mountain that she that she's on and he was on that one right there about 800 yards away okay here we are day number eight time's getting short uh back up here glassing uh i didn't do much recording yesterday it rained awful wind was awful yesterday afternoon but we did see a big big bear uh what we're looking for is a nine foot or bigger in this beer this this deer looking for a bear nine foot or larger and this one here is definitely that uh almost coal black and he's got his claws are white which means he's old bear so just what we're looking for we've seen him about 400 yards away uh, actually right up in there there's a uh, let me see if I can zoom I'll try this no oh, I guess I can't but right up through there at the bottom, bottom of those mountains there was he was over there on the side of that mountain um, just milling around so he's probably about three quarters of a mile away and the wind was awful. It was blowing every direction. And that's the number one thing about a bear is his, is his uh, smell. So we, op not, we we thought he was gonna come this direction. He went down in the draw. And we thought he might come back up. And if he did, we would've been in good shape, but he never did. So we may have messed up, I don't know, we'll see. But 
We're back out of here looking much again. If he comes back out the next time, no matter where he's at, we're going after him. So anyway, we got two days left, so we got to do something pretty quick. So anyway. Okay, we got about a seven and a half foot bear. I'm gonna try to get this on the, where you can see it. No, nope, ain't gonna work. Let me try my binoculars. This is hard to do. I can't do it. I can't do it. He's a pretty bear. He's just a little bit small. You got it on him? Try yours again. It's still, still right now, so. This won't do it. Yeah, you gotta put it right up against the lens. Oh, it won't do it. Probably no zoom either. That's it's got a zoom, but. That's what I gotta do with mine, I gotta zoom it in, so. Okay. This ain't gonna do it, is it? Too bad it's a if y'all can see him or not he's right down in the middle of that field right around that edge of that drain okay we tried okay i guess now i've seen it all rain sleet sun snow and now the heaviest fog i've ever seen this is crazy, ain't it? You can't see 20 foot. Oh, is that crazy how that's set in? Oh, in like 20 minutes it blew in like this. I mean, you literally can't see 20 foot out there. What else you got up your sleeve? Snow? Oh, let me see. Uh, snow check, rain check, <laughs> no fog. We've now got the <laughs> Sunshine. Those guys in sunshine. <laughs> One day that. <laughs> we just seen a big nine footer and we're out on we're out stalking it right now. We went about a quarter of a mile from where we first seen it. We're in this thicket trying to see if he comes out.
we've seen when we've seen him at. We're kind of glassing over this bottom to see if he might show up down here. stalking on her way out. Didn't have any luck. Did not have any luck finding the other one, so we're just easing through here. For roots, is that what he's doing? Yeah. yeah I was thinking it was at least the sort that stumped. That's so, fresh too for that's where they went to the bathroom. What is yeah, this? Like, this see that there. What is that? Is that scat? That's scat. Yeah, full of deer hair. Oh, it is, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yep. That's what I've at least this room dug it all up. Pretty spooky looking through here. Some of those, huh? Like you, some of them films that you see that have this foggy stuff. In yeah. Them, oh, just really bad ones. Yeah. Pretty neat. This is the bottom where we've been glassing. Oh, we at the very top. This is what we call the beaver pond. This is a bear trail that I'm walking on right now. Kind of a small lake. That bear that on the video, probably about three videos ago, where I was trying to get it, this is right here where he was at. He was standing right here. About, I don't know, 650, 700 pound bear. Not, not what we was looking for. Another bear trail. I don't know what just happened. Camera went off for some reason. There's all kinds of places for bear to hide though. Okay, here I sit in my three foot by four foot bedroom that I'm sharing with somebody else. And I am pooped. It is, I don't know what day it is. This is Monday night, uh, 10 o'clock. Still daylight outside. And looks like it's probably going to be raining and foggy tomorrow. And that's the last day of my hunt. Because Wednesday, we um, uh, backpack out five miles. And then Thursday, I go to town, clean up, and then Friday, catch a plane. So I'm ready for this adventure probably to be about over. So been fun been exciting but ready to get home 
ready to see some warm weather and some family. Sitting here watching my guide go up this mountain. It's crazy how he can climb. It's like a billy goat. It don't take him long either. I mean, this thing's straight up. If you can see that or not. Over, he's over a little bit to the right behind them bushes. And it's like he don't get out of breath either. It's crazy. So this is day nine, day nine. Same thing, glassing. I probably put those binoculars up to my face at least 10 hours a day. My eye, my eye lashes or my eye brows are sore. So we're gonna give it today and then we're gonna get to hunt all day tomorrow and yesterday afternoon we did have a good encounter with a big one he was nine foot or bigger beautiful hair white claws which uh, Aaron said represents a really old boar so exactly what we're looking for but he's so smart he will not stay in one spot for just a little bit we went down in there that video on the earlier earlier video was us going down there after him but he just will not stick in one spot long enough for us to get a to get him patterned and the wind up here just whips around so much that you can't you gotta be real careful or if they smell you Aaron said that they'll they'll completely move from the other if they smell you they will move to the other side of the island so anyway so hopefully this afternoon will turn out somewhat different. We'll see. Planes have been moving all day today. Taking, I guess, hunters in and out, if you can see that or not. All float planes. Anyway, that's it for now. Day 10, last day of the hunt. Setting the camp. Finally got a pretty day. Beautiful day. Drinking some coffee. Starbucks, by the way. Don't ask me how I got it. It's just Starbucks. Home sweet home. Aaron, I don't think they realize how small this camp, stand up next to that camper or, or that tent where you can see how small that tent is. <laughs> so we have stayed here in this tent for 10, actually 11 nights. Yep, 11 nights now. So. Yeah, 11 nights be 12 nights when we leave in the morning. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we got one more day to get it done, but it will be what it will be. A better or more. Either way, it was a good, really cool trip. Just seen a was you said a gray fox or is it a gray fox what silver. silver fox uh walked out to take care of some business just a minute ago and looked over there in the trees and i actually thought it was a i thought it's a bear cub scared me i'm like oh what am i gonna do now and got to looking at it a little closer and it had it was beautiful though really pretty silver looked like gray hair you can hear it out there running around right now But anyway, beautiful morning. We're going to see what we can get done today. Day 10, Kodiak Island. Actually, day 11, but day 10 on the hunt.
day 10, the last day of the hunt, we moved to another spot. Really looks good. We've been waiting on this for 10 days. We hadn't had the right wind for it. We've been trying to catch a west wind where we we're going or sent up in this draw. We've already seen a sow and a cub up on a bluff, so it's a really good spot. This is where we've been seeing the big one at, but we just couldn't get over here because of the wind. So maybe, maybe he'll show up this afternoon. It's a waterfall that you're hearing. I don't know if you can see it through there or not. But yesterday, those snow-covered mountains back there, we seen two avalanches come off the top of it. That was really cool. You could hear it. It's like a, like a tornado or a train starting when it started. But it done, done it about an hour apart, about 8 o'clock and about 9 o'clock. Actually, it was those mountains right there. That's the ones they were on. You can kind of see the slide at the bottom of the one. That small ridge. It's black. It's a silver fox. It's almost jet black. That's pretty funny. They are so pretty, ain't they? I've had one for a pet. Oh, 
Okay, day 1256. <laughs> they were leaving, so didn't happen unless it happens on the way out. Not going to happen, but packing up the tent. Looks like we may have some rain coming in. It's really windy right now, but hopefully we can get everything. He's going to put the tent in the tree. I think he's got some other hunters coming up in about a week or two, so keep from having to pack it back in. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. Sitka doe deer over there on the hillside just watching us they're not, not scared of us at all they kind of remind me of a mule deer they kind of hop around real dark head pretty little deers on our way out It's a glacier fed creek coming off the mountains. It's really pretty. <laughs> it's okay. Well, we made it. And we're both dry. Okay, we made it back to the boat, and as you can see, the weather's chasing us out here. It's tired of us playing. Got heavy wind, and look up through there. So, we'll keep this short. All our stuff, so we're all back in one piece. Headed back to the lodge. Okay, I don't know if I've done this earlier or not, but I'm going to go ahead and do it since I'm kind of waiting around to leave out in the morning. Nothing's going on. Everybody's still out hunting except for me. So anyway, uh, this is one of the little cabins. We've got three of these. There's Aaron out there spotting. Still trying to get me one. So this was built in like that. This has been here since like 1975, I believe, is when. Mr. Rohr started his bear camp, so it's everything, he has not changed anything up since then. You can see there's one cabin, two cabins. I don't know what that is up there, but. So he won't let anybody change anything up, so everything's just the way it was. Um, there's where they do their skinning. And here's some bear heads. And them are Sitka deer antlers. That's why they're so small. Anything over like 100 inches, 105 inches, I think, is like Boone and Crockett. So, anyway. So, here's the main where everybody meets at and eats. There's Roar's Bear Camp. So, and it's pretty cool. Looks like you stepped back in the 1970 in here. No electricity. All the cooking's done on gas. But just really cool looking though. Just like, like I said, you step back 
in the 1970s. Just old stuff. Everything's old. All over here this is pretty neat. So since they've started this, this is all the bears that's been taken. This is um. So if it's got a feather on it, it made Boone and Crockett. So you got to remember they they they're only allowed like six hunters a year. I mean, there's a very few hunters come up here, so. You know, here's one from 2010. That one was 28 inch skull. That made record books. Uh, 27, 7, 16. So anything over 28 is record book. Uh, 27 and 13, 16. Uh, 28, 2, 16. I don't know why that would say 1 8, but anyway. Uh, 28 and 4, 16. But anyway, pretty pretty neat. Let's see what this one down here is. Twenty-eight and five sixteenths, nine foot ten inches. That was killed in two thousand sixteen. So there's some big ones up here. They was they they, they killed one yesterday that was twenty-eight. And that's the skull measurements. Twenty-eight. Uh, in a 28 and a half inches, it was like 10 foot six, so it was like the second biggest one ever been killed up here. But anyway, that's pretty well it. Yeah, take that big long middle one, make a nice little. <laughs> Necklace. So will this be the biggest one for the season? You think? Maybe not. Be really hard to beat. He set the he set the bar pretty high. <laughs> yeah. he did. So this one's ten six. Yeah, that's a big. Bear. And twenty eight and a half inch. Yeah. Skull, yeah. which is way into Boone and Crockett, right? Yeah. Way, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, a once in a lifetime bear for sure. No yeah. damn claws. Perfect, yeah, perfect way. hair too, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely yeah. perfect. The pig bear. Yeah. No, that one only had a twenty-seven. You missed it by one. <laughs> so this bear is like has sheer length and size to him. But Stand next to it, Aaron. Pictures of the pig bear. Stand next to it, where I show how big how big that thing actually yeah, it's is. Hilarious. It's hilarious. I mean, it's like a cow. Yeah. Yeah, this is after it's been yeah, salted. I mean, imagine when it was before it was not salted. It was maybe way bigger, but wow. still, even salted, it's hard to know. massive. Yeah, and it's looking claws. New Adorfa. New Adorfa nine and a half footer by quite a bit. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell when once I looked at them by side by side when you said that a nine foot and a ten foot is two different animals, and it totally. is totally it's different. Amazing what twelve inches. Yeah makes it's beautiful it is I'm an immaculate eye that's yeah man you couldn't ask for a once in the life no that right no there.
I sit back at the cabin, back home, and wanted to give us just a brief summary of my experience, Kodiak Island, that I will never, ever go back. Some of the things that was done was we had a, about, let me see, we started out, we had four plane rides to get there. So getting to Kodiak is probably a pretty hard trip as far as it took. I think we started at uh, five o'clock one afternoon and got there about seven o'clock the next morning. So long plane ride. Um, and as you've seen on the video, stayed in the tent for 12 days. 12 days, so 12 days without a bath, shower, bathroom, anything like that. Definitely won't go back. Um, cold, windy, just absolutely some of the worst weather I've ever seen. I think it was an exceptionally cold this spring compared to some of the rest. Mr. Rohr said that this was the only time he'd ever seen that much snow happen on the opening of spring bear hunt. Uh, we got 24 inches one night, as I think you've probably seen on the, on the video. Um, and physically, I, I guess I wasn't quite as prepared for what I thought it would take to hike in. We hiked in five miles with a 60 pound backpack. That was tough. Um, so, but we got there and got that done, got the backpack um, set up and all that, and that wasn't too bad, but then you had to, so every morning when we would start out, we would backpack in up to a mountain and do glassing from usually about eight o'clock in the morning till about 10 o'clock at night. We would glass, uh, move to a different spot the next day, do the same thing, trying to get on a, a bear. Um, the food, so for 12 days we had uh, for lunch, we had um, beef jerky and a stick of cheese, and that was pretty well my lunch and a candy bar. And then at night, when we got in about 10 o'clock at night, we would set up and we would eat a mountain house. Uh, that's that's kind of like a military meal where you pour water, hot water in it, and it softens it up enough to eat. So food was kind of tough. Um, did a couple of the good things we seen was we seen avalanche seen two of those that was pretty cool from one mountain to the other could hear it sound like a train coming through that was pretty neat and we did see lots of bear just have to not see the one we was after so anyway so anyway that's the summary and did i say i wasn't going back probably going back so it wasn't that bad after all i did i mean i've already got everything took care of as far as i know what to expect next time so Definitely, definitely be going back.